Hi, today I will be presenting the final product design for this brief. Beginning with the first stages, the initial steps completed were based on the gathering of first and second hand research, we were initiated by going over possible audience clusters and completed a benchmark in regards to two different types of apps that provide a variety of services, including apps from public libraries as well as reading apps. The main characteristic I noticed all products by public libraries sharing in common was the simple interface that they present. Although all possible user needs in terms of practical services can be met, most of them lack the appealing aesthetic that reading apps have. Furthermore, despite the rapid increase in mobile device usage to complete pr practical daily tasks, these applications often fall short in the expense of the services they provide, as some of them redirect the user to their websites to complete transactions that might be as simple as looking for library details. For this reason, I wish to diverge in order to create a platform that was unique within the sector and stood out from the rest of conventional applications found within it. Nonetheless, it is true that they all provide large databases of information crucial to the use to the frequent users of the app. In contrast, the reading applications provided a much more complex user interface due to the versatility of their presented context. One of the most striking differences between the prior set of apps and the reading apps is the content personalization of the user. The reading apps offer a wide range of suggestions and information design specifically based on the history of the user's searches and activity within the app. Moreover, these apps offer a wider range of variety of media such as audiobooks and offer an ample series of discovering sections with which we can find genres and books that the user is reading enabling the user to go back through their reading history. In other hand, on the other hand, there are many public libraries that don't offer online reading within their application, despite the existence of their digital library platforms able to be found through other digital services. Given the common trends in digital media at the moment, for the care and importance provided to the user as an individual, instead of being considered one more number within the audience, it has been a priority focus of mine to include services that are not only of immediacy and practicality, such as finding author's name of a book, but also providing users with functions like maintenance of a personal library within the app, or finding out about the reading statistics can help create a sense of enrichment within the product and form a higher sense of appreciation by the user in regards of public library services. In general, the perception that, had, that has been noticed from the first-hand interviews was that the public library services aren't put into so much value as they could be, especially taking into account the wide range of services that they provide for our community. And therefore, one of the main objectives that has been self-imposed for this project has been the creation of an app that not only serves as a substitute for the services within the libraries, but also provides the user a sense of care for a public institution. Moving on to the defined target audience, the second hand research carried out defined that the largest group of people that make use of library services statistically fall in younger age demographics, which was verified by the results gathering of interviews and online questionnaires completed. The most frequent practices of the users in the libraries aided to the synthesis of services and content to include within the app and to provide functionalities that will increase the use that young attend that young people give to the tools provided by this public administration. Due to the focus on a primarily young audience, the overall style and design wanted to be created for its components is vivid and colourful, yet adhering to establish hierarchy of information that ensures the user receives all data in order of importance, and makes sure that the app is accessible by making use of large headers and colour pairings that pass the contrast ratios established for accessibility purposes. In terms of design and composition, the initial set of frames in the account creation section are presented with a very minimal design to avoid the user from getting distracted visually from the many fields of information that have to have been filled. Within these fields, there are a variety of aspects that have been taken into account, such as the use of auxiliary buttons to provide extra information and ensure the user gets to know unheard of terms employed within the app from the beginning of their use of it. For instance, the input form of library of preference might not be understood by all, and so a short explanation of this function is presented to the user. The decision to ask for this information came due to the practical use it can be given. When the user provides information regarding their favorite library, 
the one they attend the most are simply preferred, and the app details will be tailored to show the majority of suggestions of titles to be found there, and of cultural events that take place within that location. Another feature I decided to include into my application was the ability to administrate the library ID cards of minors, especially people younger than 14. Given that the public libraries of Valencia required for the provider of an adult's ID in order for children to get their library card done, I believe that this function can be found extremely useful by adults with small children, such as the example stated for the secondary by persona of the app in the document section. These assets would allow the respective adults to view all activity completed with both cards simultaneously. The profile section has been divided into three main categories. The profile itself, with a series of displays that grant access to information regarding the user's general reading activity and reading activity on books being viewed at the moment. There is saved activities or, solicit or solicitation forms that in reality are only provided at the libraries. In other words, there is no actual online record of them, but have been included into the app for functionality purposes. Features like this ensure that the application provides as many functionalities as needed so that a user doesn't have to complete formalities in person. When entering the settings of the profile, it is visible that many features can be changed instantly to ensure that there is no feeling of compromise in the information that the user provides in the application and that it can always be altered. For instance, this includes changing the app's established language, which can be changed to Spanish, English or Valencian due to the study of our target audience. Other features that can be changed at any given time are the account password or the reading objectives established by the user. As mentioned earlier, the personalization of information is an extremely important aspect taken into account in this app, which is why users can access the section of reading activity at any given time and see cards that display a series of infographics in a varied style. In addition to being able to see the reading activity of the books that they are currently reading inside the app, because even though the public libraries of Valencia don't offer reading services through any app platforms right now, they do have a short digital catalog of books available to access from the internet, which might be difficult to combine with the services provided by the app. There are various points from which the user can explore different items and expand their reading, viewing or listening habits. In the initial section of the app, books with the highest ratings and books categorized into different genres can be viewed. And if an audiobook is being listened to within the app, a card will be display active listening. This was built in to provide to the user the easiest access as possible to actions being presently completed within the app. Again, there is a coherent style in the use of color gradients and the use of buttons for primary actions, and in the recent activity, the user will be able to view recent search and activity history, granting easy access to titles or information that they might want to review again. Moving forward, in the search section, the bar can be easily found due to its large size and high contrast with a colorful background. The decision to design the search bar in this style is due to the accessibility ease it provides. Oftentimes, the user will access the search category with a predetermined purpose. And being able to locate the search engine quickly is a great way to ensure this immediacy. Additionally, the use of encouraging language is an essential part of communication between between platform and user in this project and further enhances the user's experience with the library services. Filters can also be displayed, which allows the user's searching experience to be as vague or as detailed as they wish, and the, and the total time search findings are being shown to provide constant results of information to the user. Once the search has been completed, not only search findings are shown, but as but also possible suggestions that might be of interest to the viewer based on the recent search made, and this includes different formats such as DVD as well. When a title is pressed, various functions and details are displayed, including access to title reservation, reading the ebook version within the app, and checking the title's availability in libraries. To further create an individual experience for the user, reading in the app offers a range of services such as saving book quotes and saving pages which can not only be of liking to the user but can also help with specific tasks that the user has to complete with the title such as when completing academic work for instance 
the user can also leave reviews and ratings and read other users' ratings of the titles, which can additionally aid to the sense of literary and cultural community being formed. It can help in the decision of getting items loaned, reading them, and so much more. When the title is about to be reserved, we can see an even distribution of information and a simple explanation that stands out to the user in regards to the item status within reservations. The form to fill for item loans is short and to assure minimum confusion and complication and avoid unnecessary redundancy to users that will frequently make use of this feature within the platform. The activities can be saved and resaved and saved in a similar manner. When entering this category of the app, we can see a clear yet eye-catching division between information regarding libraries and events and activities. The info provided on the libraries of Valencia is succinct, yet provides facts that may be of service to the user when they have doubts regarding closing time or aspects of the library's infrastructural space. As can be seen, the different types of information are categorized into various kinds of cards to ease the location of contrasting data. Secondly, in regards to this category, the activities displayed are divided into different sections, as the location is an extremely important conditional point for attending events, and can also occult and activities for children can also be occulted if the user isn't interested in said information, being able to personalize even more the information that the user is currently viewing. When a person enters an activities card, they are provided with short details on the event and the option to save the activity to their profile or even make a reservation if recommended by the library. All changes will be notified through the use of notification cards and toasts, and new activities can be checked out in the user profile either in the section of the activity saved or in the notification center. This is quite similar to the reservation of the book, which will also be confirmed through the use of notification cards and can also be seen in the notification uh, center. Lastly, I wish to create a space in which the user can be in control of all information and content being viewed, and I believe the use of a built-in library app is a very practical way to save titles of interest or titles that have been searched for for a specific purpose. The library is divided into different types of media, which then can be filtered into different categories to provide an easier finding of the items. There is always a last call to action at the bottom of each frame for the viewer to see the information organized in a different manner. And all titles can lead to the access of title details, reservation, and so forth. And with this, we reach the conclusion of the explanation of the project. Additionally, some other notes that must be taken into account for future changes and iterations that can be made to the app design are, for instance, the ability to log into the public libraries of Valencia social media and to be able to access with more control different services that are more complex and that have been already provided through the website. Additionally, it must be said that there have been certain uh, frames made for when the user doesn't log into the account, although this has a very restricted amount of contents that can be viewed given the necessity of the library ID cards to register for book loans. The section of the ID card could not be seen, in addition to the section of the profile, given that not only a library ID card is needed for the transactions of item loan and returns, but also an account would be needed to see any reading activity, any um, personalized suggestions, in addition to being able to see the private library. In adherence to this, uh, currently what is being seen on the screen are a series of frames created for the possibility where no results of content can be found and therefore empty states need to be shown to the user, indicating the encouragement to perform these actions, for instance, in the lecture activity, in the reading activity, sorry, the user can see a message saying that the all activity can be seen once they begin to read and therefore give that sense of ensuring the user that the content can be viewed once the action is completed. Uh, another thing that must be noted is the fact that the PDFs used for the section of 
forms to download by the user in which they can access either a form to fill in with book data that can be then given to the library staff members in order to make suggestions of book buying by the library or to fill out a form for interlibrary loans and returns. These PDFs were provided to me by a staff member of the Public Library in Valencia and these PDFs were then copied into a PDF and then uploaded into my private Google Drive but this in no means is meant to be used in reality and uh, have only been created for educational purposes. And in these have been the last conclusions of my project and that is everything that entails the design and composition of the app in relation to user needs and context within the project.